So what are the top marketing automation tools that you can use in Africa? Now, for those that don't know, marketing automation is one of the new trends. Businesses are trying to automate a lot of their messages, their customer journeys, their segmentation, their risk analysis, their everything to do with their customers. And if you're to check other parts of the world, how quickly this has grown has become, of an, has become an indicator of how valuable this is. Now, this trend of marketing automation is only getting started in Africa. Businesses are beginning to adopt marketing automation tools. And in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to share what are the top tools I would recommend for Africans. I, I know my African brothers, you're looking for price sensitivity. You're looking for things that work in your region. And so I'm going to recommend the tools that would be best suited for your business here in Africa. For the first tool, I would recommend is uh, the Trembi marketing automation tool. I would recommend this for one or two reasons. Number one, it's extremely affordable, meaning for most of the app, in comparison to all the other tools in the world, this is the one you're going to find at the most friendly price. And most importantly, it integrates into the things that you use on a day-to-day, -day, meaning if you're in Kenya, your SMSs work comfortably, your WhatsApp integrations work, it's integrated into your local payment options, the m -Pesas, you can pay with those, same thing applies to Nigeria, same thing applies to South Africa. So it's best fitted for the continent because it was a platform that was literally built on the plat on the african continent meaning as they were building they were building with the african use cases in mind so you can create automation workflows and create whatever sequences you need whether it's whatsapp automations whether it's sms automations and most importantly they integrated what they call the trembi sales ai into this automation Tool, whereby if you even want the AI to help you look for leads on your behalf and get people from the manufacturing industry it will do it for you because like I said the company understood what the Africans needed and is now building towards what that kind of ecosystem is then number two if you have a bit of a bigger company you're like the MTNs the large corporations in Africa then the better tool to use would be something like Salesforce their marketing engine now yes it is extremely expensive but it has been around for so long it's a legacy tool and they have really carved their art out for the biggest of companies they understand what your needs are as a multi-billion dollar enterprise so what they carved out is yes we are going to put everything that you need but factoring in that you are a big company so as if you're a small company and can't afford a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars every year then i would genuinely not recommend that because the minimum price you're going to find for their marketing automation tool is about a thousand dollars which is quite quite on the high end now the third alternative i would have for you is what they call active campaign but this is more friendly to developers if they, you have a lot of integration you need to do on the website and you need to add several components from your website and automations being triggered from your website then the better alternative would be active campaign it's quite affordable the packages begin from around 200 dollars as a starting point and of course they build depending on the number of contacts that you have but option number three if you're more developer oriented and you have a lot of technical capability that's what would make the best choice for you so um hubspot is another good alternative uh, their marketing campaign systems their ecosystem to do with marketing campaigns makes a lot of sense but for the mid-range companies, you have $800 to spend, you have, um, say you have ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to spend, then it's also another good alternative. So you check out those four alternatives because they are the best possible choices that you would have within the African continent. I've tested hundreds of these and from my experience, having set up technology companies in Africa and worked in the tech ecosystem in Africa for the last 10 years, those I would recommend are the four top choices. That's all from me, folks, today. Bye-bye for now.